Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is late in the day. Sam took the girls to do a bit of shopping and when they get home, we are gonna try and finally sit down and figure out what horse are we gonna buy for Sophie. Because it's time, we've kind of been taking a break. We've been just kind of letting things go, but Sophie needs a horse. She's ready to have a horse to love on and to take care of and to call her own and to build a relationship with, to build a foundation to take them through the next few years of riding together and competing. And it's time, it's time to find Sophie a horse. Holy heck, it's a miracle. There are four eggs all on one day. <laughs> we never get four eggs. So these are our eggs. This one right here, this big one, is one of our older girls. This green one, or blue one right here, is from one of our older girls. This little tiny one here is from our little tiny Silky, and that one is a new layer. Typically, they don't all lay on the same day, but today, we got four eggs. I brought a little treat out for them, which was supposed to be this scratch, and they knocked it over. They literally, they literally knocked it over. I like to throw it, though. I got it on my little girl's back. But look at she always does this. She's such a sweet girl. She always just is, lays down. It's literally freezing cold today and I made a roast for dinner. One of my favorite things to have with roast, I always like potatoes and carrots and roast and I like Yorkshire pudding. So I needed a nice fresh room temperature eggs for Yorkshire pudding and the chickens just helped me out. So you guys probably know that we have a deaf Dalmatian. She's almost, she just turned two years old and she is mostly deaf. Why do I want to go with those jumper that? Oh, that would be such a good idea. All right, and then we still have to paint it. Let's pick a color and we'll paint it. What color? Yeah, a bigger one out in the outdoor arena. Is it bigger? Yeah. All right, what color? What color will we pink? One. You don't want to paint it? What color do you want to paint, paint it? Yellow. I one in the arena that's yellow already. All right, yellow is nice. I like yellow. All right. All right, can you close All the right. door? So, you guys know we have a deaf Dalmatian and she's afraid of the barn. You're probably thinking like, what do you mean she's afraid? Well, she is afraid. Are you taking Tina for a walk right now? Yeah. <sighs> Essentially, the last time we had her in the barn. She's so penny. Yeah, she's terrified of horses. So, essentially, she is terrified of horses. And the reason is, I think the reason is, the last day that she was down in the barn with us officially, she, my horse Penny came up behind her. She was sitting on the ground staring at me. I was sitting on a chair and she, the horse came up behind her. She didn't feel the vibration, wasn't pay, paying attention to the vibration on the floor from the horse. And she turned around and the horse was there and it scared her. Being deaf has really made her in touch with her scared side. Since that moment, she has never come down to the barn, again, not willingly. We let her out every day and she does a run and she does a run all around the house and then she goes back to the door and sits there and waits. And we think we that in. she would like to be down at the barn, but she is scared. So uh, today we're not riding. Today Gabby's not riding. Chino got new pads on his feet and she takes him for a walk every day that she doesn't ride. Takes him for exercise. He is also out in the field most of the day too. And Penny, Penny's in heat again. My horse is in heat again. How does that happen? How does that happen? Like that, like literally it's been three times in a month it feels like. Anyway, our Dalmatian that is bred to be good with horses is terrified of horses. But last night we had some really good success training her to feel comfortable down here. But I think it's going to take more than one time. Come here. Come here. Remember girl. we did this last night? Okay, let her come back. So last night when we brought her down, oh no. no not you. <laughs> We can't do it with you in here. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> I know there's a boy out there that you really love. Uh, so. Her tape zone is either back in there if the horses aren't right there or on this couch. Yeah, I'll come over there. Penny Pickle, you're not going with the boy. It's okay. Oh, you are such a cutie. Well, come here. So essentially. She chickens out and goes here. So, <laughs> so last night I was, uh oh, 
Last night, Sophie and I brought her down here to do chores when we put the horses to bed, and the horses were all outside eating. And we played a game with Daisy where she would run to Sophie in the arena, run back to me in the barn, and we would pet her and love on her each time. And then really quickly, she overcame that fear. Like she was running all around the arena, and she hasn't done that since she had that fear a few months ago. So, oh, she's just shaking. So we just wanted to have like a couple of really good experiences down in the barn. All my animals know how to kiss. <laughs> Ew! I do not like seeing dogs. And then what else? So we wanted to have just like a few really good experiences where she's with us and she can trust in us and believe in us and be okay down in the barn because what we need to do is put two horses in a stall and leave Willow because she's the smallest. And get her used to Willow, and then add another horse, and then add Penny. You think that'll work? Yeah. Yeah? Anyway, we've been working on it because we want her to feel comfortable in the barn. We want her to be able to be around the other horses. But, at the same time, do I think she has what it takes to, like, move out of the way of a horse? Yeah, like, I don't know if it's something that ha should happen because... Aww, she licked her. Good girl, good girl. That's why I say Willow because she's like the smallest and the calmest. Daisy has a, Daisy can live like happily not coming down to the barn because we're yeah, always she, outside, we're always up at the house and she has lots of area to run and play and be a dog up there and that's what she does. She stays up there and she runs and she plays and she's a dog. But She likes sleeping in the house. We, yeah. we try and get her off the couch but no, she just keeps coming back. Okay. So now we're in the barn, got the horses. They're all like, what are we doing today, Laura? <laughs> Sophie, we need to talk about your new horse. Gabby, do you want a new horse? Uh, no. Gabby never wants a new horse, but Sophie is the one that actually needs a new horse right now. What are your dreams? What's your wish list? Because we're gonna ask our friends that watch this video to help us find a horse that's perfect for you. In Canada. Yeah, in Ontario. So that is one thing. People send us messages all the time and they're never in Ontario. And so we can't ever buy them. We need our horse to be in Ontario, Canada, right? Um, Palomino. She would prefer a Palomino, but if you couldn't have a Palomino, does it matter what it looks like? Yes. <laughs> well, unfortunately we will, even though Sophie wants a Palomino, we specifically need a horse that will suit her. It doesn't matter what it looks like. If, wanna... if it's a gray, I'm dying at Palomino. Yeah, if it's a gray, we cannot have a gray. We there will be no Palomino. more grays for the history of our life. Palomino regardless, Sophia. What? It will be Palomino regardless. How do you know? Grays? Grays, they yeah. don't stay clean. Oh, yeah. If she gets a gray, it'll be a Palomino by default because it'll have a lot of yellow on it. Okay. Sophie, gelding, mare, doesn't gelding. matter. I don't like mares. Why don't I you mean, like? I mean, I like them, but not to ride. They're too sassy. Yeah, she has a little bit of a nervousness about mares. Okay, so what else? How tall? You want a big giant horse like your sister? No. I'm much shorter. That's what you need to teach Willow to do, stand on that thing. I've tried to get her to stand on. Oh, that's easy to teach. Look, she's watching Molly do it. Good girl. So how tall do you want this horse to be? Um, the highest, 16'3". 16'3 at the highest, but you don't want a really tall horse like I that, don't. right? She wants like a 15. 16'3 is 16 the hands is like perfect for her, right? 16'3 is the highest. Enough. Right, but she really prefers smaller. Okay, so what is your budget? You. I have to say that. So I want to try and stay 10000 or under. Because she's still growing, we want to try and stick around the $10,000 mark. We don't want to go over. If we have to go a little bit over, like we went over for... If we can find what we want for around the 10000 mark, then that's exactly what we need. That, that Then we want to stick with that. What do you want to do with this horse? Jumping. Like jumpers. And this is Daisy getting scared. Jumping. And but look at look at how Sophie's pets come straight to her and don't leave her. I tried dressage and barrel racing. So she wants to do a lot of different things. She yeah. wants to do so, jumpers. So basically, I'm a horse that can do everything. Yeah, and she's not a hunter girl, right? Like, 
Well, I mean, I'll do hunter schooling shows, but like. She really wants to do jumper. She wants to go back to the jumper ring. That scared me. Do it again. That was cute. Hi. No, okay. Far away. That me. She took a long. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> She's starting to turn into Ruby. You can only go out it one way though, because the left, when you say come on up, she'll jump on you. Right? Come here. Come here. Whoa! Yeah, me. I might have missed that, but yeah, she's she not. She hit it. Whoa! She takes a long. Woo! See if Ruby can do it. Ruby also has fear of the horses as well. Ruby is also, a, whoa, afraid a lot of the horses. <laughs> woo! Do you think your dog would jump? Oh, she's running! She's free! Yeah. Good girl, hey! Let's do that game we did with her yesterday. All right, let's try it. Come on. Hey, good girl, yeah. Okay, call her, Sophie. So this is what we did last night to get her like focusing and, uh-oh, come here. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Sophie backs up a tiny bit and then she calls her. Oh, Gabby, you're getting mature. No. <laughs> Woo! Oh, hello. Did you come back? Okay. <laughs> Good girl. All right. Go to your girl. Yeah. We left it too long. We should have brought her down. We should have brought her down right away and and helped her get past her fear. Yeah. She also gets shocked by the fences. The barn is just a really scary place for her. <laughs> Penny's over there like, listen, this is not about the dogs. This is about the horses. Uh, let's try it. I'm right here. I'm right here. <laughs> this is heartbreaking. It's okay. It's okay. See, that's exactly what happened. She doesn't understand. All of a sudden, she's just sitting there, and then all of a sudden, there's a big giant horse behind her, and that's what scares her. Good girl. Look at her waving her tail. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Penny's like, wait a minute. Why can't I be in on, a, in on this? Usually when we're in the arena, it's all about the horses, and I feel like the horses are confused. Wow, look at the shed. Wow, girly. Winter is coming. So, did you and Dad buy a truck last night? No. So, basically, Sam and Gabby went to Toronto last night to check on a truck. And Sam likes it, but it needs a couple things fixed on it. So Sam has told the guy he would put a deposit, and the guy works on trucks. That's what he does. And um, if he fixes the things, and he comes back in a week, and everything's, like, fixed up, and he likes the truck, then he will buy it. Rock. Yeah, that's funny how she just did that. She jumps on the rock, and wow. She literally uses her paws like hands. So with any luck. We may have a truck and it's white. It is white, it is a white truck. Is oh my gosh. She has a little cut on her back. It's a monster truck. It's a monster truck? Yeah. What does that mean? It's tall. It's tall. It's a tall monster truck. Yeah. I really like to treat, teach my horse to do that. Good girl. <laughs> so, like, uh, do you guys see? Sophie's using verbal commands with this horse. Like, she doesn't have any crop, any. Ruby, come here. Ruby, come here. Ruby, spin. Ruby, spin. Ruby, spin. Ruby, spin. Ruby, spin. Ruby, spin. She does. She doesn't. Use your finger. Oh, yeah. There we go. And we should get the horses and the dogs spinning together. I swear. Oh, look. Yeah, but look at she's like enjoying herself in the barn. Like she's she's exploring a little. 
Penny, spin, spin, spin. <laughs> She's like, I will eat that finger. <laughs> She's doing her own show, you guys. Like, she is fat. They're all fat, but it's fall now, and they're gonna start to lose a little bit of weight. You gotta find her a treat now. Honestly, we created this situation where the, the this horse doesn't leave her owner. <laughs> like Sophie's not even doing anything. She's just walking around. I love fall, you guys. It's my favorite. It brings out the, the homemaking woman in me. So this is my creation for dinner. We're having roast beef, baby potatoes, baby carrots, and I have, ooh, and I have Yorkshire in the oven. Gabby wants mashed potatoes. They're her favorite. She just, she never gets excited about meals like the fake ones. Do I have fake ones? Because we only like fake ma mashed potatoes. Oh, all right. Gabby wants fake mashed potatoes for dinner. This is her favorite thing. So we're gonna have that too. Anyway, that is it for today's video. We'll see you guys tomorrow. It's the weekend. So happy Saturday and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?